Now, I think the perception from a lot of the people we've been talking to is they're afraid, you know, that maybe we're in this mini bubble you're talking about. They're afraid of a double dip type recession. Um, wh what should people be looking for if they're really afraid of that kind of a sort of dip? Do you stay on the sidelines and wait a little longer, or how do you sort of play through that environment? Well, that, that's an interesting thing, and I think there are very compelling in arguments for both the bulls and the bears with respect to how the market's going to proceed. And I think that recently we've seen a growing number of clients who are concerned about a double dip, uh, concerned about inflationary pressures, concerned about what the tax environment is going to be like. Uh, there are so many cities and states across the country that are effectively insolvent. New York is no different. Uh, we have a budget deficit of $9.2 billion here, and our politicians can't seem to get their arms around a uh, spending reduction plan that will bridge that budget deficit. Without that, taxes can't, can't even get a budget up. passed. Can't get a budget passed, and uh, we have elections coming up in November, which is a big reason why that budget is, is very difficult to get approved. Um, but I think that uh, we're looking at an environment where most people believe taxes are going to go up and they're going to go up sharply in the future to effectively bridge these deficits that we have. That's creating a situation where we have many clients today who are selling properties because capital gains rates are now at 15 percent. Uh, if the Bush tax cuts sunset at the end of the year, which most people expect they will, that will bring the rate to 20 percent. Um, the health care legislation that's been passed will add about 4% to the capital gains increase. And then that seems to be a very easy target for politicians to look at capital gains taxes, which is perceived to be a rich person's tax. Um, so there's very, very big concern on behalf of clients as to where that capital gains rate is going to go. Some of them want to take advantage of the rate as it is today. So we have clients today that are selling to take advantage of today's low capital gains rate. Um, we also have institutional clients that are deciding to sell today because of their concerns over what's going to happen with the carried interest tax rate moving forward. Uh, there's pending legislation that will increase the capital gains rate on carried interest profits to effectively uh, ordinary income rates. Um, so that's a big concern for people moving forward as well. We're actually getting a lot of calls about that. People are looking to generate transactions as well where they trigger that tax but don't necessarily actually sell the asset to lock in those gains and avoid the higher tax later on. Very complicated stuff and really the most difficult part of that is we don't even know what the law is yet. You know, it, they keep sort of dithering around and passing it back and forth between the House and the Senate. So that's a really tough thing to contend with. 